few minutes, um, Gwyn will be lighting the Christ candle here. And um, shortly after that, each of us will light our individual candle and pass the light around the circle, person to person. In preparation for this simple but profound act, we invite you to reflect on the symbolism of light. We will be sharing some words of wisdom on that subject from several of the world's religious traditions with time in between, quiet time after each reading. The meditation will finish with the sound of the chimes. From Judaism, Genesis 1-3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Christian tradition from the book of Matthew, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives <coughs> light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. From Islam, from the Quran called the verse of light, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth the prow of his light is as if a niche containing the lamp. The lamp is enclosed in the glass, the glass shining like a radiant star. A lamp lit from the blessed tree, an olive tree, that is neither of the east nor of the west. The oil whereof is so bright that it would be well nigh give light of itself, even through fire had not touched it. Light upon light. Allah guides unto his light, him that wills to be guided, and to this end, Allah propounds probs unto humankind, since Allah has full knowledge of all things. tradition, the Mundaka Upanishad. Within the lotus of the heart he dwells, where the nerves meet like the spokes of a wheel. He is pure, he is the light of all lights. Meditate upon Brahman and you may easily cross the ocean of darkness. <coughs> 